new one by you. And yes, I have broken my fast. I, I bought yarn. Obviously, you know, this is like, you know, seeing how this is a whole video with ice yarns. My 11th, first of 2021, but my 11th with ice yarn. So, um, I mean, it's fair to say that I do quite like them. They had to have, they are cheap compared to prices here in Iceland. Um, also, the fact that you, when you buy from them, they don't they don't sell like single like skeins of wool or anything like that. They always sell in packages or in pairs. And for someone like me, that is very very useful because I usually buy, I usually buy. Um, I do usually end up with enough yarn for the project that I'm making. But I have this anxiety of not having enough. And the fact that when like when you're ordering online, and and. It's not like your local store, it's, it's a store that's like on the, pretty much the other side of the continent. Um, you can't exactly just, you know, drop and buy and hey, go, hey, I need a little bit more yarn. No, it um, takes a bit more time than that. But um, so the fact that they all they sell in packages works for people like me. Now, obviously for other people that, that doesn't fly, other people have like their preferences and just prefer buy, buying like the exact amount that they want and me that's not, that's just not me um also um iceland has a lot like, so much variety like there are things that i have bought from iceland you know type of yarn that i would otherwise never have dared to try and buy like Mole hair, angora, um, all these varieties of ba um, bamboo, for example, bamboo. I haven't no, used that one yet, but I fully intend to. It's so soft. Listen, if you, if there's one yarn that you need to buy, whether it's, whether it's from like ice yarns or anyone else, bamboo. It is. Even if you don't use it, yeah, yes. I said it, even if you don't use it, it is so soft. But like, also all the variety of acrylics. Listen, I will admit, I used to be anti-acrylic because only acrylic yarn that I knew about, it was that squeaky, unpleasant, just torture devices that um, squeak. No matter what kind of knitting you use, they just squeak. And I didn't like acrylics. All acrylics based purely on that yarn and then I found out oh wait acrylic isn't just acrylic acrylic is a lot of things but um so yes this is my 11th ice yarn haul um, this isn't like this isn't the biggest I think but this is probably the biggest like bag I've gotten from them So, honestly though, I didn't feel like I ordered a lot, but um, bag was bigger than I expected. Now, in my defense though, I do have a defense. I am working on a lumpkin blanket. And because it's a blanket, I figured like, I had 16 skis and I figured that's probably gonna be enough, right? Mm, I feel like it should be like a little bit bigger. So there is more lumpkin in here. Lumpkin, oh, lumpkin is adorable. I love it. It's so soft. It's so fluffy. Problem is though, because it's fluffy, it has these fibers that just fly all over the place. So I use, you know, I try to work on the blanket at the end of the day when I, you know, I've been wearing these clothes for like the whole day. So it's okay that they get, get dusty and like fibery before they go into the hamper. Um, because you point in the direction of the blanket and you just recovered. A smarter person would have washed her yarn before starting to work on it. I am not that smart. I continue to not be smart. 
I just reach for the nothing about it. And then reach for the next skin and just keep going. And I'm like, why why can't I be smarter? But that's okay. Because um you know, it's just life. But we are not gonna talk about my lumpkin. Um probably gonna talk about that in the party pile. Probably next one. Yes, because I'm gonna see how it Prepare, but now we are gonna dig into this bag. Now, to be fair, obviously I didn't just order lumpkin. Um, I am not gonna get through. Yes, found the corner. Um, I did also obviously have all the things in my basket, and. I mean, when you're ordering from another continent, no, not in a continent, we are on the same continent, just main, you know, this side of the mainland and then over to Iceland. Um, but, um, it's to be fair though, like to be fair, um, I mean, they only have expedient shipping nowadays. They don't have like the um, Turkish post. It's like, uh, no, not doing it. So they have expedient shipping. I ordered. Listen, I ordered it last Saturday after having admittedly two glasses of white wine um, to quell the voice in the back of my head. I said, nah, let's, let's wait, let's wait. So I had a bit of wine and then <laughs> placed the order. Um, so I ordered on the 20th of February. The packet actually arrived on the 25th at my post office. Um, where I live. So it took way less than a week. I know it was in Reykjavik in uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. So that it is so quick. Like, dear lord, I'm getting packages from Turkey faster than I get packages from Reykjavik, okay? That's just. I mean, that's just how the world is. Oh, I remember this. The layers, like here's here's the outer layer. Here's a another. I love, I love, because they obviously have experience with them, um, you know, shipping to, you know, far and wide, like all over. I think they ship all over the world. Um, oh, I love it. Look, I am so easily impressed. Like I'm sorry, but listen. So they package this really, really well, and then they put an extra bag over the top. As an added, like, protection. I love it. I love it so much. I am easily impressed. There we go. Okay, are we through? So here's my lumpkin. Lumpkin. <gasps> Listen, working on the blanket, it makes me so excited for when it's ready because I was actually working. Like, I said I was going to talk about. I'm going to talk about. It. I was working on it last night, and I almost fell asleep with it on top of me. It's so warm and so nice and so cozy, and I love these colors. So, is that an L or one? I know. It is the Lumpkin color, white, pink shades. Uh, 61119. And Lumpkin, like, as I said, it's really dusty and it's like really, really fluffy and the fibers do fly around. So um, I would recommend washing it first. Um, otherwise, like, wear a mask, uh, well ventilated area. All that fun stuff. So Lumpkin. It is 95% acrylic and 5% polyester. And it's, like I said, it's so soft. Uh, um, these are 100 gram skeins. 33 meters. Um, it is. I can never see the picture of the skein. On, you know, of the skein on the label. Um, I think that says six. 
Must look you right. Mm. I, I've said it before, but I need like a little chart of just the um, the um, skin things, like with the fine and super fine and all that. I think that's a like, bulky or super super bulky. I think it's super bulky. Ooh. So anyway, knit needles. Size recommendation is eight to twelve millimeter. I'm working my blanket on nine millimeter, and it's it is yeah nine millimeter is really really good with this. Uh, or a US size. 11 to 17 You know what? I'm gonna tear one of it because I'm probably gonna, you know Tear into this anyway. Like this doesn't do this yarn any justice like it's been in the bag for who knows how long but It does fluff out beautifully Here is the label Excuse my shakiness. So yeah, there. I mean, there are other colors. Um, no, I figured if this is too much yarn for the blanket, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make like a. You no, know, maybe one from my, like a like a pillowcase or something. So. Now most of the yarn, the, the other yarn that I bought was from the sale pieces. I love the sale pieces. The sale pieces really like. First off, the price has dropped dramatically. I mean, it's not. I don't feel that like I is expensive. It depends on the fiber. Um, but the sale pages, you can get skeins for like pennies. And most, as I said, most of the yarn here is. It's a sale page because it does make you a little bit more crazy to try things or types of fibers that otherwise you would be like, oh, I can, I can do that. That's too, that's too fine. That's too long. Not if it costs pennies, <laughs> like, and you can. Um, they're a little bit, yeah, a little bit worn with this. So this is not, this is not sale. This is the baby wool design. English, hello, baby wool design in neon colors. Um, five eight four two seven, and this whole reason why I bought this in these colors, mind you, in these particular colors, because um months ago, there, I mean, I do was Ross, from Smells Great guy, like what I mean, I really love listening to him while I'm doing my own knitting or crocheting. And he was making, I can't even remember what he was making, but I think he was, might be a hat because he's a hat man. He might also be a shawl because he makes wonderful shawls. Um, and he was, or blink, I can't remember. I remember it was something that I really, really liked. And I absolutely fell in love with the colors. Like, look at them. How gorgeous are these colors? I love them. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I'm being phlegmatic. Um, does not help now. Yeah, so love. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely fell in love with these colors. And, and I mean, he said it was not. Yes. So it's acrylic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's 25% wool and 75% acrylic. It's called baby wool design. Well, if they put wool in, then it's wool. <laughs> it's 100 gram skeins, 260 meters. Oh, that's good. Uh, four millimeter knit needles or US size six. Cannot remember what the um, conversion for crochet hooks is. And it is a one. That's light, yeah? I think it's light. Here is the information. There you go. And the prettiness. Look at it. Oh, let's go from the center. It's a little bit tight, this skin. Oh, but look at those colors. Like, well, I mean, knowing me, this might end up being a shawl because. Oh, that'd be fun. Just a nice big. Like, 
maybe not my usual go-to crochet shawl because I make that a lot. But like these four skeins in like a nice big shawl. Mmm, that sounds, nice. that sounds really nice. Another, yes, this one. Oh, that's right, there's three. This is bunny bun. And cream, orange, yellow, green. And it is 61306. There we go. And bun bun. Um, I really, really want to get it because, oh, I'm... Oh, it's soft. Holy, you are soft. The main reason I want to get bunny bun is because quite a while ago I got my yarn from... Um, Hopium, and they have like I got from them these pack of like balls, um, and the the pictures I mean online these looked very very similar one to another. Um, I haven't got these skeins; so they're somewhere in storage, but I really wanted to get this to compare, and oh, I absolutely love this. Mm, it's so soft. All right, so the bun bun is 50% polyamyl, 40% premium acrylic, and 10% polyester. 100 gram skeins are 175 meters. And knit needles are four to five millimeter, or US six to eight, and they are medium. So here is the label. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm... I'm excited about this yarn. Like, look at these little blue balls. How cute is that? Oh, and it's so soft. This is... Oh, you can hug this. This is definitely like a fun little, like, a shawl, scarf, something like hugs you. This is a huggy yarn. Now, you do get three skeins in a bag, so it's a. Um, usually, there's like four in a in a bag, but I like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna need to get in stores one of these days and find out where my hobby yarn is, so I can compare these. Now I have them, and then you know, get working on something fun. fun, 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 fun. Now, all the rest of the yarn is um, on the set, on the set pages. So, oh, I love this one. So I did buy, I did buy like quite a few of these. So, I think these are all the same. No, that's different. Excuse me while I figure this one out. Oh, you're pretty! You're pretty! Yes, okay. Alrighty. Because I think I got like three of these. Of these. Yes. I did. I did. So I'm actually gonna pop these two to the side so I can show you. For some reason, I've been on a neon color pen. Like, I don't know what, because um, a few years ago, I did not want to see neon colors. Like, neon colors did just burn into my retinas and just... <coughs> I'm not, no. But then I see these on ice yarns, and I'm like, ooh, want. Why? I don't know. But, but, listen, they're so pretty. And they look so fluffy. So these are both sale. They are mohair wool blends in these absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So, the only thing that's this wrong. Here's the first one. Oh, you can see it. It's 68855. Again, it's on sale, so I'm not sure if it's like available, but we'll see. I'll link, try and link it down below. And then there's 68856. So, so these are the same. Like the same type of yarn, just you know, different colors. So there are eight balls in each bag. I throw the bag. Mm. 
Oh, that is pretty. So these are 50 gram balls. They are 100 meters. Uh, I can't see. The label is um, absolutely incomplete on this one. I don't know if there's a better one or if they're all like yeah okay this one's slightly better i mean <laughs> the print has gone like main part is here and then a bit to the side so i think this is like uh 10 percent mohair 10 percent wool 45 percent polyester and 35 percent acrylic and because these are you know on the sale page uh there isn't like information about the wool itself like um, the recommended size of knitting needles or, 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 or like, or at least they have the meter on this, so, but like, this is definitely fine, or super fine. Um, probably three, if I remember correctly, this might have been like three millimeter, but like, look at this, look at the fluffy bits, just it's nice and soft and like look at the colors so I got three bags of each one of this lighter color and then this pink neon pink <laughs> didn't brush it back look at that <gasps> look at these colors lordy lordy these are so pretty a little bit rough but like honestly like the pink and the oranges in this one I absolutely love it so I mean the way I figure <laughs> this might obviously like be fine on its own well, maybe like make a big vacuole or something or you can use it like in combination with another yarn like a <clears throat> excuse me like a plain white one you could maybe layer it up um, and they don't like bigger needle needles, I don't know, we'll find out, but yeah, these are pretty, okay. so, let's see, okay, and then we have another prettiness, Sail Winter Light Shades, 68845, and this absolutely gorgeous pale pink color, just, I love this color, it's so pretty. I feel like I've probably bought something similar before, but somewhere in store, so. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, I like it, so light and so fluffy. Look at the fluff on it. Can you see the fluff? I hope you can see the fluff. It's so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Again, the same thing with the label. Mm. But these are 50 gram balls, 440 meters, so that's pretty good. 33% um, wool, 55% acrylic, 13% something. Nylon? Light salmon? And something. I mean label is absolutely no good but meh again i think these were i think all of these were like three millimeter ones oh look at it oh that is so fine that is so and it's so soft i love it oh yes so this definitely i got two of these so that's 16 skins and then I got these lovely blue. Like, how pretty is this color? I generally don't really go, I think, enough for like yellows and blues. Should definitely do that. So, this is Sail Winter Light Blue 68478. 
There we go. And again, probably three millimeter, but you know, I think they were all like three millimeter. Are you not gonna open? Okay, I'm going from this side. And these are ten skeins or ten balls in a in a bag, so I think I got got two bags. Ooh. It is nice and fluffy, not as fluffy as the pink one, but it's still, it's not as soft, but it's like still, it's definitely in the middle, still soft, so. But it's such a pretty color. I like the fluff, I like it. So, let's see. 30 gram balls, 225 meters. Uh, the label on this one is even more atrocious, so yay. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a better one. Okay, slightly better. It is 20% wool, 65% acrylic, 15% polyamyl, it's light blue. So 20 skins total of this lovely light blue. Again, 3mm probably. It does have this nice fluffy like hail. That is so pretty. And just <gasps> Look how cute they are together. Also, like these are 30, 30 gram um, balls and these are 50. Like size difference, fluffy difference. Oh, they're so pretty. Like the gun. Now, in you pop. And in you pop. So that's that. Still more to go. There's still only like two more things, so. <sighs> Another lovely fluffy. This is a uh, Sail Winter Light Mint. It is 69590. Again, these are tan skins. In a, in a bag. And green is a color that, again, like with the blue, I don't really go for. I think these are the same, actually. Oh, my nail is being annoying. Let's see. 30 gram skeins. 250 meters. Oh, no, it's not quite. It's 10% more hair. 25% wool. 55% acrylic. Uh, maybe 10% polyester. Labels are difficult. But again, look at the fluff. That is it's such a pretty color. Like this lovely, lovely, it's so lovely. I like it. It's a bit pastel -y, isn't it? Like these colors. But again, pretty. Now for the last one. Pink. The pinkiest pink that you could pink. So, these are eight skins in the back, and I got three. Uh -oh. So, these are again Sail Winter Candy Pink. 68819. There we go. Ah, oh, I love autofocus. I love it. So these are, again, a little bit out of my comfort zone, but pretty. That is so soft. I love soft yarn, holy. This is, this is candy. This is like candy floss. This is just, look at it. Oh, the pretty things that you can make with a yarn like this. So. I'm not liking these labels, dear lord. These are 50 gram balls, 440 meters. I think it's 33% wool, 52% acrylic, 13% nylon. I think it's nylon. 
So is it the nylon that is making these so soft? Because this is soft. Like this is... It's so soft and nice and I like it. Um... How pretty. I feel like I picked up oh, just these gorgeous... I am very happy with the yarn that I picked this time. Like, I am always happy with the yarn that I pick up. But like, this is just... This is it. Well, I'll be. They are the same. <laughs> Look at them. Actually, look at them. Those would be really pretty together. Um, that is nice. <gasps> like a really, really easy breezy, very simple um, striped dress. Ooh, that would be pretty. Or a top or something. Just something really nice and light and airy. Just to just pop on on a really nice day, like, or like overdress or something. Um, I like, I like them. Holy moly, these outfits. <sighs> I am so happy about my, I am very happy about breaking my yarn dye because yarn. You know, I will confess, I don't really have plans for most of them, like, obviously. Excuse me. I have plans for a lumpkin because I am working on a big blanket and I'm probably gonna end up with, you know, all 24 skis. Oh no, we'll see. Um, probably a show because these colors just drape so, like, listen, I do have white dresses and, like, having a pretty nice, pretty nice shawl. Um, a word that would be so nice. Uh, not quite sure what I'm gonna do with Bun Bun. I need to find the yarn that I got from Hopium, like, was it 2019? Probably 2019. Time flies. But but I need to go find that so I can compare the yarn because that's the main reason. Like I've been, I've been sleeping on this yarn for way too long. Um, as for the lovely like. Neons. I need to dream. I need to dream with these. These just. They're so pretty. Holy. Um, and for the other, the other four, like. <gasps> Oops. Excuse you. Look at it. Oh, they are so pretty, and. I need to get a plan for that, but all in all, I am very happy with what I got. Now, I mean, yes, most of it is from the sale page, so I don't know how much of it is going to be available. I mean, I'm just going to link it down below, so hopefully somewhere, because... Lordy! This is a good haul! I got all real lucky this time. So, so yes, this has been me this time. Happily breaking my yarn diet. Totally worth it. It's totally worth it. So I will see you next time. Bless bless.